How many of you remember what Car Jerry said about the way old men dress? <laughs> Flags of other nations. Yeah. Black Africa! <laughs> With a honky head! <laughs> It's great to be here at the Improv. I have to tell you, you have young, hip audiences, but I do see some of my peeps here. This young fellow ordered a gin and tonic. My peep back there, he ordered gin and metamucil. <laughs> and you know, as I get older, I'm going through mail changes. My mail used to be great. I used to get mail like, look at this, join club men. <laughs> Clothing optional, singles week, discount. Now I get mail like this. The Neptune Society, cremation. Hillside Memorial Services. In a few short years, I went from joining Club Med to being asked to join Club Dead. tell you, the geek will kick in, I'll remember what I want to say. <laughs> I called the guy from the Neptune Society. I said, what's with this pre need program? He says, you'll uh, make arrangements, you won't burden your children. I said, why not burden them? They've been a burden to me all this <laughs> And then he said, you have to tell us where you want your remains placed. I said, that's not a problem. He said, what, would you like a lake or a mountain? I said, no, the planter box at Topanga Canyon outside Nordstrom's. <laughs> Guarantees me a daily visit from my wife and my daughter. <laughs> Woody Allen said, he doesn't mind dying, he just doesn't want to be there. Now, I know I'm going to be there. And I'm going to be the main attraction at the service, the inside service and the outside service. But it's really going to be aggravating. Because at the end of a Jewish funeral, everybody goes back to your house and eats Brent's deli and I won't be there. <laughs> and in jolly old England, they were burying people alive in the 1600s, so they put a string around them and they ran a cable up above. And if the person moved after they were buried, the bell rang and the guy dug them up. I'm taking the modern version. I'm being buried with a cell phone. <laughs> there are people that guarantee that they will come in 30 minutes or less. Hello, Domino's? <laughs> Mushroom pizza, Mount Sinai, no, not the office, plot number 36, and make sure he brings a shovel. <laughs> It's dangerous to die Jewish. It is. I could faint right here. Jews bury their dead quickly. I could wind up fainting here. They make a mistake by tomorrow afternoon. I'm six feet under. And Jews don't bury their dead in cemeteries. We have Hillside Memorial Park, Mount Sinai Memorial Park, Eden Memorial Park. Gentiles use cemeteries. Us, they send to the park on a permanent picnic. <laughs> There's more, I'll think about it. <laughs> yes. Another problem with uh, getting older is you, uh, you forget things. <laughs> But you get applause. <laughs> I'm, I'm married. I had a weird incident the other day. I really did. My wife and I were walking on the promenade in, in Santa Monica, the Third Street Promenade, and we were holding hands, and this young couple come running up to us, and they said, the girl says, how long are you married? I said, well, I'm, I'm married uh, 42 years. And she turns to her boyfriend, she said, you see, Henry? You think we'll be so in love in 42 years you'll still want to hold my hand? I looked at her and I said, sweetheart, love has nothing to do with it. 
I let go of her hand and she's going right into Nine West and buy more shoes. <laughs> I mentioned my cell phone. Yeah. Electronic things get in the way of older people. I really don't know why my cell phone has a camera on it, but it does. So what happens is every time I stick my hand in my pocket to answer the phone, it takes a picture. I've got three quarters and a dime, lint, my keys. Ah, now I find it. There's that Viagra pill I was looking for two weeks ago. And can you imagine what would be very aggravating if my po pocket had a hole in it and this camera took a picture? The most aggravating thing would be if everything fit on this little screen. Now, the red light is going. Now, because of my memory, I can't remember what they told me it's for. Either I'm supposed to get off the stage or the hookers have arrived. So I'm just going to say, thank you very much. You've been a great audience.